Hey y'all, I'm Lauren and welcome to Cantina Cast. Today I'm doing my pre-release review for The Glass Abyss written by Stephen Barnes. This novel comes out on October 15th. I've really been looking forward to this one for a while now because Mace Windu is one of my favorite characters and as you can see by the cover that is who this novel is centered around. So I'm really excited for this one to finally come out and be able to talk about it in more detail. But for today, I am going to keep my thoughts pretty general as I usually do with these pre-release videos, just so that way I'm not spoiling anything from the book before it's even out. But I do want to kind of set your expectations so that way you can consider if it's something that you might be interested in or not. This book does have to do with Qui-Gon as well. Now, this takes place after Qui-Gon's death but it does revolve around a request that Qui-Gon made of Mace shortly before his death. So even though Qui-Gon has already been killed by the time that this story takes place, you do still feel Qui-Gon's influence throughout the story because you do have times where Mace is kind of reflecting on what Qui-Gon asked of him, trying to fulfill Qui-Gon's wishes, and also being really disturbed about what happened to Qui-Gon. So if you love Qui-Gon, you do get a little bit of Qui-Gon sprinkled in there too, even though Qui-Gon isn't actually there, of course. Also, if you love Mace Windu and you're wanting some more insight into his backstory, like I have been, then I definitely think you're going to want to check this book out because this book does deliver on that. While Mace is, of course, a big part of the book and his backstory is explored a little bit and explained, it's not the only part of this book, though. There's also a pretty significant portion of this story that has to do with the planet that it takes place on, which is called Metagos. There is a pretty significant part of the story that is centered around the politics of that planet and how exactly Mace is having to maneuver that for this mission. So it's not like it's only about Mace himself. There's a lot of other factors at play in this story and there's other people that Mace is having to deal with too so while Mace's backstory and who he is as a character is a big part of it there's also a pretty intricate story going on about this planet in particular and because of all of this political navigating that Mace is having to do that does result in what is a pretty complex story and there's a lot of different moving parts and things that Mace has to figure out. So it's not really super fast paced. It is a little bit of a slower build because for a lot of this book, Mace is having to kind of figure out what he needs to do in order to be successful in this mission. And there's a lot of observing that has to go on. But it does feel very deliberate on the author's part because it's not like Mace can just like show up, do what needs to be done and then leave. So that's something to keep in mind going into this one is just expected to be a little bit slower moving. But overall, I do really feel that this book delivered what I at least came for. It gave me some insight into Maze. It gave me a little bit more understanding of Mace's character, a little bit more understanding of why he is who he is and the things that made him that way. And we also get to see him in action in a prequel era story as well. If any of that sounds interesting to you, I recommend picking this one up. Even if it's just for Mace alone, to me, like that's reason enough to give this one a try. As far as canon goes, we are kind of limited in how much we have on him. So to me, that alone was enough of a sell for me to want to try this book out. Let me know in the comments if this book sounds intriguing to you if you're planning on picking this one up. And keep an eye out for my full review on this novel once it comes out on the 15th where I'm going to, of course, include all of my in-depth thoughts and opinions on it and also some more plot details and plot spoilers and all of that. And thanks so much for joining y'all. I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.